my weight now is uh, stabilized at 166. But uh, my A1C was amazing, dropped from 9.5 to 5.9 currently. And it, it's gone down every time I've tested. The last time I was at the doctor was about 70 pounds that I lost. They were amazed and the numbers don't lie. Originally, I was diagnosed in 2008, so just a little over 10 years ago. And at that time, I didn't take it seriously because uh, I didn't feel sick. And they gave me some medication to take, and they said, as long as you take this, you'll be fine. At some point, they told me that I should lose some weight and eat a little better. But there was no definition of what eating a little better was. Five, six years ago, I had my hip replaced and then some three knee surgeries. And uh, after that, the weight really piled on. And as a result, the doctor started increasing my metformin from 500 to 1,000 to 2,000 and from once a day to twice a day. In October of 2018, he prescribed glipizide and told me to start thinking about taking insulin. So at that point is when I started taking it serious. Uh, I was a little scared. I didn't like the idea of taking insulin. So that's when I started doing some research online to see what my alternatives, if any, were. I came across the iThrive series and uh, the following John's course could identify with a lot of the things that he was going through and uh, it was through them that I was introduced to mastering diabetes. I learned that people were actually reversing their diabetes and not only diabetes but all of their health problems um, by making a change in their diet. But what's important is that the diet was described, it was defined, it wasn't in specific as you should eat better. I immediately uh, liked what was happening because now I was getting all my advice from one source. I didn't have to worry that I was going to be off track or experimenting to see if this worked or that worked. It's a step-by-step -step process and they explain to you about initial reactions to some of the foods you eat and uh, how not to worry about it. Don't be concerned. This is natural because there's a transition period. And as you, as you continue the course, your insulin resistance will, get, uh, will go down, your insulin sensitivity will go up, and you're going to be able to do things in three weeks or a month from now that you, you're not going to be able to, to do today. And so I started seeing immediate results. Um, within 30 days, I, I can't believe, you know, what was happening seven months into the program. My weight now is uh, stabilized at 166. And when I got married, I weighed 172. And when I was in basic training, I weighed 177. Well, I, I'm under all of those. <laughs> We're talking 50 years ago, you know. My cholesterol dropped from uh, 220 down to 117. I didn't even think that was legal. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible to go down that low. My HDL uh, went up to 49. My LDL dropped from 102 to 49. My triglycerides dropped to uh, 95. But uh, my A1C was amazing, dropped from 9.5 to 5.9 currently. And it, it's gone down every time I've tested. I'm doing, a, you know, in a couple of weeks for another one, I'm hoping to see even further improvement. As a result, uh, I'm off of all statins. I'm off of uh, all of the uh, blood pressure medications, the cholesterol medications, and with my doctor's blessings. At first they were uh, very skeptical, but you can't argue with the numbers. The last time I was at the doctor was about 70 pounds that I lost. They were amazed and the numbers don't lie. I got their blessing and I've been off now since January 15th. I had to retire when I turned 62 because I just couldn't do the work anymore. I was in pain constantly. I couldn't walk for more than 20 minutes. I couldn't even sit for more than 20 minutes because it just seems like everything would just tighten up. And if I sit in a movie or 
if I flew on an airplane, it took me longer to get flexible again so that I could walk than it took to, for the flight, you know, uh, that kind of thing. So, you know, I was looking at a life of, is this how I want to spend my retirement? After losing the 80 pounds and getting off the medications, I've got energy like I just didn't know what to do with it. I went back to work for a couple of days a week uh, for you know something to do. Uh, my outdoor activities have increased. I can I can pretty much walk around now, and uh, I'm on a my bicycle and uh, pedaling you know up to an hour at a time and uh, working out at the gym. You know things like that. Uh, Six months ago, I never thought that I would be even be thinking of doing those things. Uh, I spend over 40 years in the food service. Uh, I've got a lot of experience in cooking, and that actually helped me transition to a plant-based diet because I actually used it as a challenge to take some of the some of the foods that my family is familiar with and comfortable with and adjusting them so that they're still edible, but now compliant, and be able to produce a dish that is tasty yet healthy is very rewarding in itself, and I like to share that with others. I've posted a couple of hundred pictures of meals that I've prepared using whole food plant-based you know, way of uh, eating, and, and uh, the people love it, they enjoy it, and it, uh, kind of motivates me to continue. One of the first lessons in the Mastering Diabetes program is preparing the perfect breakfast. And uh, they talk about four to six servings of fresh fruit with a tablespoon of chia seed over the top. That's my, my go-to breakfast. I eat that at least four times a week. Uh, the only adjustment I've made to it is I like to put it on top of a bed of uh, half a bag of spinach. And so I'll eat that every other day. Um, the other day, the in-between day, I like to eat a half a cup of cooked, uh, be it oats or 16 grain or, you know, I'm a, I love the grains. And so I'll cook the grains and I'll serve three to four servings of fruit over that, you know, so a hot cereal. So that's my breakfast. I don't vary for those are my two breakfasts and that's what I've eaten for the last six months and no desire to change. Fruit is really good. Uh, for lunch, I usually have soup, and my go-to sandwich is a no tuna salad sandwich, which made made with garbanzo beans. It's not not uncommon for me to go through two three pounds of uh, garbanzo beans a week. It's our one of our go-to uh, legumes. Uh, so yeah, sandwich and soup. That's typically my my uh, lunch. If it's not a sandwich and soup, it's a sandwich and salad or a soup and a salad, but it's always lots of greens, lots of vegetables, and some grains, you know, for lunch. My dinner, it's all over the place. I try to get four to at least four servings of vegetables, and then I try to put some kind of a, a, either a grain legume or pasta with that. Sometimes I treat myself to uh, some pita chips or something to go along with it, some kind of skinny bread or something like that. But uh, uh, I try to vary the dinners. One of the things that I did was I cooked four months straight, five nights a week without making the same recipe once. I heard a lot of people saying, what can you eat? What can you eat on this diet? Well, I proved that you can... You can uh, go four months without repeating yourself even once. The only reason I started repeating myself is because my family started asking, can we have this again? Can we have this again? <laughs> so now, now I've you know, cherry picked the favorites and, and we have them more regularly. I can't recommend the program enough. I think it's important. I think that uh, bad health comes with a high cost. Almost all the diseases that we have the Western civilian diseases are all diet related. And the great news is that most of them, many of them can be reversed and or cured by making changes. And uh, the Mastering Diabetes program, not only does it reverse type two diabetes, pre-diabetes, it makes uh, people with type one diabetes, their lives are much more manageable. 
but there's other benefits that the same diet also reverses heart disease and hypertension and high cholesterol and you, you name it, you know, uh, the same diet cures all of these things. And so I, I think that they should view it as an investment in their health. Count the cost. Uh, I've heard people say, well, geez, this might be expensive, but you know, it's not as expensive as uh, having an operation. It's, it's not as expensive as having heart bypass. <laughs> it's, it's not as expensive as eating out weekly. It's not as expensive as the internet or Netflix or any, any of these things that we do because we want to. You can, you can make baby step changes or you can do like me and just dive in. But every change you make is going to see a benefit. Hi, this is Dave. Um, Mastering Diabetes asked me to do an update since uh, we did an interview back in June. Uh, it's now December. Uh, as to my statistics, uh, I've been uh, maintaining my weight now between 165 to 167 and a half. Uh, my last two A1Cs uh, were both uh, 5.5. Check, check it. One.